Hello everybody, AJ Rising here, and today we're going to take a look at how to get various Compiz effects on your desktop, including uh, wobbly windows and uh, the desktop cube and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I had hoped to get this video up almost a week ago, but unfortunately uh, I'm running about a week late because I just have not been able to get some peace and quiet in this house. Uh, to, to get this video done um, you know started out the week my kids had a had a, a day off of school for uh, parent teacher conferences and then the follow then that following night we got a pretty big snowstorm so school was canceled and then we got another snowstorm school was canceled then we got below zero weather and uh, we hit uh, uh, one night we hit uh, I think 10 below and 25 below zero uh, a wind chill factor and that's Fahrenheit for all the all views that aren't in the US and not Celsius um, so anyway we had you know that super cold bout and of course the the schools didn't want the kids waiting out at the bus stop and in that kind of wind chill and then we had a repeat the following day uh, and then we got hit with snow and then lo and behold this morning we got hit with snow again which is the picture I got right here I, I shot those about an hour ago uh, these are all the, the view from my uh, front deck and uh, so once again the Ohio Valley is a winter wonderland uh, <clears throat> but anyway all this stuff is kinda combined to uh, uh, you know slow me down on getting stuff down just because I could not have uh, have enough quiet in this house to record video uh, but finally I just said screw it I'm gonna do it whether I've got quiet or not <laughs> anyway let's get to the work at hand here uh, we're gonna look at some uh, some compass effects and I'll kinda give you a quick rundown of show you some of the stuff that I've done and then I'll show you how to set it up yourself um, as you can see whatever my main window whatever window I'm currently using if I click it it becomes bright the rest go dim that's one of the effects that I've added and you can see when I switch windows it kinda flips them a little bit and that is the dodge effect and I have also enabled uh, wobbly windows which is what we're looking at there or I'm sorry that not wobbly windows but uh, uh, the desktop cube uh, wobbly windows I'll show you that in a bit just because uh, I know a lot of people want to know how to set wobbly windows up personally um, to me it is the most annoying effect known to mankind um, so I had set it up on my computer and then uh, you know I used it for maybe five minutes at the most and then I was like I can't stand this anymore and had to switch back to uh, to regular window effects uh, but I will show you how to set it up and then uh, what am I missing what am I missing uh, oh when I move windows it goes somewhat transparent as you can see it kinda goes a little bit transparent there for you uh, set that up and then let me go through my I'm looking at my notes right here Oh, the ring switcher. Um, so you can switch your windows. I've got mine set up as the ring switcher. You can there's there's other switcher setups that you can do, but I've got it set up for the ring switcher. So anyway, um, so uh, well, that's a good point to start. Let's get going. All right, I'm going to work on the assumption that you already have Compass installed. I've done videos in the past on how to install Compiz on various systems. Uh, I'll just kind of give you a quick rundown of the Compiz packages that I have installed. Uh, if you are on Ubuntu with Unity, you already have Compiz installed. Basically, you need to add this Compiz configuration settings manager so that you can make the various tweaks to Compiz, and you're going to need to add the Compiz plugins, and then you should get the rest of these packages here. Um, as I said, I've done previous videos on how to install this. I recently did one on how to install it on uh, uh, Ubuntu Mate. Um, 
probably in the in the near future I will do one on how to install it into uh, uh, well Zubuntu and any of the other XFCE based distributions because you can do it um, it's a little bit involved uh, but not too difficult um, and get you some some you know all these effects in uh, in Zubuntu so anyway uh, make sure you got everything installed there and then um, let's go and open up our configuration settings manager and I'll just uh, probably I'll just go one by one down the list of all of the effects that I have added and then um, you know we'll go from there all right first thing we're going to look at is the moving windows transparency and nice thing on the settings manager is with this uh, little filter dialog you can just start typing in the sub you know whatever it is whatever category you're looking for and it'll find it for you so we're gonna go to this move windows category make sure it's checked so that you get the effect and then basically the only thing that I went and changed here was the uh, moving window opacity right here and uh, I mean I wanted it to go somewhat transparent uh, but I didn't want to go too far because basically you can get it so that your window almost disappears or completely disappears and let me knock it down to 25 percent just so that uh, you can see you know you see it's it's almost gone at, at that point um, so you know play around with it see what works out for you but to me 75 percent was perfect um, and once the same thing with the other settings on here you know play around see what uh, see what you like all that kind of stuff all right so we looked at that one let me show you now the dim and active windows and you know they, they've labeled these categories pretty good just dim and active uh, make sure that one's uh, activated and then you go here to miscellaneous options and this enable ADD helper on start basically <clears throat> uh, you'll get that dimming effect as soon as you boot it boot up your computer as opposed to having to start it with one of the key bindings right here uh, which is uh, super P so I enabled that and then once again you've got the settings here I've got my brightness set to 70 saturation 50 opacity hundred percent I played around with the opacity to see if uh, you know what worked out for me I really didn't like any really any transparency at all just because I often have a lot of windows open and when they're overlapping you you really can't um, you know it's it's difficult to be able to read uh, the window that's on top if it is not selected as your primary and I often have that situation since I've got you know multiple monitors running on my secondary monitor I might I that's where I typically have like my reference material when I'm doing my writing and that sort of thing I need to be able to read that top uh, that top window even though it is not currently selected so you know I, I I needed you know zero pacey but you may not be in that situation so you know you may like you know making it somewhat transparent or whatever but anyway like I said you know play around with the settings see what works out for you all right let's take a look at how to do the wobbly windows like I said um, this isn't an effect that I do I enabled just because uh, I can't stand it it really really annoys me and gets on my nerves but you know a lot of people like it so which is why I'm showing you how to set it up in this video so right here enable wobbling windows let's click it and when you enable it you need to disable uh, snapping windows so you'll get this dialog box that pops up so we're going to disable snapping windows it takes a minute or so for the changes to register with, uh, with comp is and now you can see we got the wobbly windows effects now you've got a variety of different different settings here uh, the main ones that you want to be concerned with is friction and spring K 
on the spring K, this is basically how springy things are. You see, now that I I knocked it way down to one, it kind of it bounces very slowly, um, and I think it maxes out at ten. You see, it it really kind of vibrates now, and then this friction K. That's basically, I guess, how 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 much it bounces around. Let me kick this up to, I don't know. Let's go to 2.0. So you can see what it looks like there. And now we'll knock it down to 1 point, or 0 0.5. You can see the difference now. See how it kind of, I really don't know how to describe what it does, but I mean, you can you can see what it does, <laughs> um, but anyway, those are the main the main two effects there. Um, and like I said, I'm I don't like wobbly windows. A lot of people love it. Uh, it's just not for me. So I'm going to back to snapping windows. Enable that, and yes, disable wobbly windows. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the compass animations that you can set up. And rather than try to go through them all by my on my own, I'm just going to reference here the compass wiki. Uh, it tells you all kinds of stuff about compass. And if you come down to where the plugins are listed, if you click on compass plugins, it gives a description of most of the different. Uh, effects that you can uh, that you can activate but anyway let's take a look at what I've got set up um, I've got this glide to set up for my opening and let me just open a window here so you can see what it looks like And then on my close animation, I've got this glide one, which basically, I guess you can think of it. It brings the uh, brings the window towards you, and then I've also got a fade set up at the same time, so that as it as it's coming towards you, it fades things out. So let me close this window here, so you kind of get an idea of the effect. And for all your different effects, you can go and which windows it affects, all that kind of thing. I basically stayed with um, uh, the effects that were already installed by default and then tweaked them, maybe switched what effect it was, but stuck with what window type it was just so I didn't have to completely come up with all of these effects, uh, you know, and, and fill all this in by hand. So anyway, you can just come in here and do the edit. And so, okay, there's my glide one. My close effect was glide one. Uh, how many, how long in milliseconds the effect takes place, what windows it affects, all that kind of stuff. And basically, like if you just wanted to, like say, while you've got this one in here, also add, added, uh, you want the same, uh, for the same windows, you know, some other effect, I would go and just copy this into a text editor just so that you didn't have to go and manually, you know, pull all that stuff up. So anyway, those are my opening and closing. For minimize, I've just got, I've got a curve fold, so let me go and open this up, and you'll see it, it kind of curves on itself as it's closing up. up there. I've got unminimize here. Uh, once again is that glide two. And then shade animation, which I really don't use. Uh, and then dodge is the one that I have for my focus effect. So basically as you're switching windows, the that effect, that's dodge right there. And it's always been an effect that I like. Um, for switching windows but once again 
variety of different effects there available and like I said go to the compass plugins read about all the all the various uh, uh, effects that you can add and pick what li what you like all right let's take a look at some window management here I have set up for myself I like the, the ring switcher there's other switchers that you can set up like I said I like the ring switcher um, another one is just a standard shift switcher um, let's take a look at the ring switcher here and uh, here you go and you can set or leave default the various window key bindings as far as how you want to move on to the next window general options here you know how fast you want it um, uh, do you want your inactive window to be opaque all that kind of stuff um, the ring appearance how big do you want the ring how small the ring the thumbnail size that sort of thing and do you want the window title displayed so the font all that kind of stuff uh, but like I said it's not the only switcher there is the shift switcher uh, which is the standard type of switcher that you normally see for switching windows uh, you know really pick what what you like now a lot of people rather than doing the window switchers they have their desktop set up the, so that every time they open a new window it opens in a new uh, a new desktop and then they basically use the desktop cube as their window switcher okay so let's take a look at uh, how to set up that desktop cube and the first thing you're going to want to do is go under your general options come over to desktop size and make sure that your horizontal virtual size is set to four um, four virtual desktops that gives you you know your, your cube um, scroll back on out here and then we'll come down to desktop typically desktop wall is enabled by default so you want it that disabled and then you're going on to enable desktop cube and rotate cube and then once in here uh, once again you got a variety of effects and and you can tweak them and that sort of thing like uh, uh, your yeah, your your uh, how fast the cube accelerates as you're switching desktops how the the speed of the folding uh, time step is, uh, how fast the folding and unfolding takes place uh, appearance here you, you can set uh, top and bottom colors uh, you can also enable what's called sky dome which gives you a sky basically a sky image for uh, your cube caps or you can go and change the uh, change the images and then do you want a transparent cube not transparent all that kind of stuff then under rotate cube uh, for the most part you just got your binding controls here uh, you know what uh, what enables uh, the switcher now myself I've got it set up for uh, control alt and then you can either use the arrow key which is what I'm doing right there or you can do control alt and then use your mouse pointer to rotate and of course with the mouse pointer you can kinda go up and down at the same time and that is uh, you know that's essentially it with the desktop cube now there are some I guess you call it optional effects that you can set up for uh, the desktop cube. You've got 3D windows, which basically it makes the windows see uh, seem to pop out from uh, from the uh, from the cube as you're rotating it. Um, <clears throat> you can go and change your cube into basically a cylinder. Um, you can put gears in the center of the cube obviously you're only going to be able to see that if uh, if you've got the uh, the transparent cube set up well I think that about covers everything that I've got set up as you can see from scrolling through the, the compass settings manager here 
there's a lot of effects that I have not enabled you know there's tons of stuff here and really to do a video that would cover everything it would take all day uh, so really that's not uh, it's not practical to do that but like I said just go to uh, the comp is wiki page and you know do a little reading if there's some effects that you don't understand or whatever or drop me an email uh, you know, leave me a message on uh, uh, or a comment on the video, and uh, maybe I can help you out. Um, anyway, uh, as always, give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. If you are not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.